Batteries aren't for everyone. In fact, most homeowners will not save any money by adding batteries to their solar power system. However, in some cases, adding batteries can be very profitable. In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to know whether solar batteries are worth it. And at the end of the video, I'm gonna be teaching you some strategies to maximize your payback. Okay, so in today's video, we're talking about are solar batteries worth it? Uh, and before we get into the economics of it, let's just start out by defining what is a solar battery. So when we talk about a solar battery, what we're talking about is a, a battery system or an energy storage system that is connected to your solar power system so that the battery has the ability to be recharged from the solar panels and the battery has the ability to power certain loads within your home, and in many cases has the ability to sell extra power back to the power company for credits. Under certain circumstances, you might want to do that. So what are the reasons why people add batteries to their solar power system? Well, well there's three main reasons. The first is for emergency backup power. Now, if utility service goes down, solar panels can produce energy during the daytime, but they're not producing at all during the evening hours. And so if you want a system that's capable in running running in a grid down mode or in an emergency backup mode, you, you not only need to be able to harvest energy from the sun when the sun is shining, but you need the ability to store your own energy so that you have a reserve of energy available to you during evening hours so that you can be powering the essential systems in your home, uh, or in some cases, being able to power the whole home during evening hours, even during a blackout. Uh, and then of course the next day the solar panels take over again and they recharge the battery and you can repeat that cycle as many times as you need. That's why many people consider solar and batteries the most secure emergency backup because you can repeat that cycle day after day after day without having to worry about purchasing fuel or storing fuel. Now the second reason people install solar batteries is to maximize self-consumption, meaning that they essentially want to be an energy independent. They don't want to rely on the power company, so they basically just use the power company as the provider of last resort. They run off solar panels during the day, then they run their house off of stored energy in the batteries at nighttime, and then the next day the solar panels take over and recharge the battery. So for those that wanna to be totally energy independent, they wanna maximize their self-consumption. Uh, again, it basically puts them in a position where the solar and the battery system becomes the primary power source, and then the power company is just the, the power provider of last resort. And then finally, you have folks that wanna take advantage of time of use rates or optimizing when they buy and when they sell electricity based on the rate of that electricity. Now, for those of you watching in states like California and Arizona, you'll know that under certain rate plans, you could pay triple the price for electricity if you're consuming during peak hours than what you would pay during off-peak hours. And so a battery can help you with that load shifting. Let's say you're on peak hours and you have high energy demand within the house, that may be a good time to run off your battery so you don't have to buy from the utility during those peak rates and then recharge the battery later on that evening or just wait for the next day so the solar panels can recharge the battery for you. By the way, I know a lot of these terms sound complicated. So of course, if you wanna to talk to a solar expert to see what are the best solar and battery storage options for you and your home, as always, you can reach out to us on the link below there, set up a call with one of our experts, uh, or just use our free online quote tool to see how much solar or battery storage costs in your area. Okay, so when do batteries actually save you money or when are they actually worth it? Well, the first case, is where you have no net metering program. Now, when we talk about a net metering program or a solar buyback program, this is when the utility company offers to take your excess solar electricity during the daylight hours. Essentially, what you'll be doing is powering the home directly on solar during daylight hours and sending all of your excess electricity back to the power company for credits on your account. Uh, and a good one-for-one -one net metering program means for every unit of electricity you send to the power company, you can pull it back in in the evening and you're not penalized for it. But what we're seeing now is that a lot of the utilities are doing away with one-for-one -one net metering. For example, in California, under the new so-called NEM 3.0, net metering 3.0, you have to send them four units of electricity during the daylight hours just to earn enough credit to pull one unit back in during the evening. So basically your, your payback just got cut, is slashed by a quarter or, or down to a quarter of what it used to be. So in this case, having a battery actually makes sense. Even though there's slightly higher cost to install the battery with your solar panels, 
it gives you the ability to run your home off of battery power during the evening so you don't have to sell your your solar at a discounted rate during daylight hours you just charge your extra solar into the battery and then run the home off the battery and then again the next day the solar panels take over and you can recharge the battery and repeat that cycle so again in that type of a setup you're essentially using the power company as the power provider of last resort you don't really care what their buyback rates are, what their buyback program is, because your primary strategy is to power on solar during the day, power on battery at night, and only use the power company in an absolute last resort if the batteries are draining out and you need more, more power before the sun comes up the next day. Now, the other time when having a battery is worth it is if you have severe differences between your on-peak and off-peak hours where you need to consume in the home during those peak hours. So think California, Arizona, late afternoon, early evening, and you wanna run central air conditioning in your house. Typically that, that's like the worst case scenario is you come home from work, it's five or 6 p.m., you're on those peak rate hours, because again, that, that's when most people are getting home, they're powering up heavy loads within their house, and it's been a hot day all day. You wanna run the central air conditioning and cool down that house. That's a perfect scenario where you can self-consume off of your battery, basically power the air conditioning load from your battery, and then recharge the battery later on that evening after you, you, you get out of the peak hours, could be after midnight. Uh, or again, just wait till the following day, let the solar panels recharge the battery. But the key is you don't have to buy anything from the utility when they're charging those super high on peak rates. By the way, if you're watching this out there and your power company is changing or getting rid of its solar net metering program, leave a comment below. We'd like to hear from you. So to summarize, solar batteries are really only worth it if your power company does not have a net metering program or if you wanna use the battery to do time of use avoidance so you can avoid having to do peak rates. But if you're just looking at the battery for emergency backup purposes, it's not going to save you any money. Now, it does provide peace of mind. So that, that's a form of payback. It's not really a financial payback, but if your goal is to be self-sufficient from an emergency preparedness standpoint, then having battery storage with your solar is, in my opinion, the most secure long-term renewable backup power source. But not necessarily gonna save you any extra money if you have a good net metering program. Now, I hope you enjoyed today's discussion about why solar batteries are not worth it or understanding which cases batteries are worth it and which ones they might not be worth it. Uh, but by the way, none of this really matters if you connect your batteries to the wrong inverter system. Uh, so you, have, you haven't seen it already, go back and watch our previous presentation on how to choose the best inverter for your solar power system. Because frankly, it's the inverter that's gonna have the most impact on what features your system allows uh, and on the reliability of that system and the expandability of the system as well. So go ahead and check out that video presentation if you haven't seen it already. Well, folks, I thank you for spending some more time with Solar Surge. As always, you can reach out to us on the link there uh, if you'd like to schedule time with an expert or use the free online quote tool. Uh, but until next time, as always, I'm Joe Ordia here, encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next video. All right, I hope you're getting some great value from today's video content. Now, if you would like to have your business or product or technology featured on the Solar Surge channel, we can help you do that. Feel free to use the link below to set up a call with our media team so that we can discuss your marketing goals and how Solar Surge can help you get there. Solar Surge is the leading online community in the US residential solar and energy storage space. And so if you would like to have your business or product or technology introduced to our audience, we can help you do that. Uh, again, feel free to reach out to us on the link below to set up a call with our media team or email media at solarsurge.net.